Hello, I'm David R. Lewis. Welcome to Theater of the Mind. Calico Trail, the third book in my trail series, finds Reuben Beeler in many adventures. Maybe the most rewarding was being a new daddy. We join Reuben now while he is reflecting on that. The winter after little Bill was born was some harsh. I mean, it weren't terrible cold or anything like that, but Lord, we had a mess of snow. It just kept stacking up most all winter long. Them was stock to care for had a time, and they was some cows and pigs lost to it. Even a couple of old folks passed on while trying to dig out and such and a lot of supply wagons was slow in coming cause of the trails being so covered up and all. Harmony took to being a mother some easier than I took to being a father, I reckon. I done what I could to lighten her load and so did her daddy, Verlin, but it was some fretful having a baby around. It seemed like to me that little Bill had a sense about him uh, just when to get to squawking or something at the most inconvenient time. He'd start up in the middle of the night and most always wake me up before Harmony would hear him, my ears being tuned to the trail and all. I'd get up and fetch him to her so he could get a bite to eat and such. As time went on, I come to notice a difference in the way he'd holler if he was just hungry or wanting somebody to fuss over him. Them times I'd walk him around or go downstairs and lay him on the Davenport for a minute while I stoked the stove or something. It got to where after a while that him and me kindly worked it out between us and he'd pretty much settle down whenever I was to pick him up. I even got to be a fair hand at changing him, but oh, I left that to Harmony when I could. She seemed to handle it better. Sometimes what come out of that boy would just set me to gagging. For his first Christmas, I built him a cradle for some hard rock maple that hung in a stand and could swing back and forth to give him comfort. Arliss carved him a little bitty colt out of oak and showed up with it all wrapped up in tissue paper on Christmas Day. Harmony got a kick out of that and allowed us how little Bill was a mite young for firearms. Arliss gave it to him anyway and Bill grabbed a holt of it like babies do and waved it around a little before he lost his grip. Arliss pointed out the fact that Cause the boy had took it by the barrel and not by the grip, he weren't no smarter than his daddy and we should probably put it up till he was old enough to get some proper instruction on the use of handguns. Bill could be troublesome, no doubt about that. Now and then I'd threaten him about the old giving him to the engines or feeding him to the hogs, but it never did seem to make no difference to him. I loved little Bill as much as I loved his mama. And it was a treat watching him get to know me and recognize his daddy among all others. It seemed to me that he got a little bigger every day and by the spring he sat where he was propped up and looked around studying on things. I could darn near hear them little wheels turning his head as he come across something new and almost everything was new to the boy. What a wonder that must have been for him. Discovering the world all fresh and such. Sometimes I'd catch Harmony watching me while I watched little Bill and smiling in that sweet way she had. The truth of it is, I was happy. The old life weren't all sugar cookies and rainbows, but I was anchored in a family, my family. And I took some fine pleasure in that. Calico Trails, available in e-audiobook format at a number of sites including audible.com and as an e-book at Amazon and several other locations. I'm David R. Lewis. Thanks for joining me at Theater of the Mind. Do you like the new seats in the theater? They're two inches wider than the old ones.